In this video, I'd like to show you how to find tickets in ServiceNow. Now, these methods are going to apply for any type of ticket, whether it's an incident ticket, a change ticket problem, request, or a knowledge article that um, is in its edit mode. All of those are tickets in the system and they all appear in a similar type of list. I'm going to use the incident tickets as the example. So I'm going to go over to my incident area and go into one of the list views. Now depending on your access rights, you might have different list views available to me than I do. Um, a list view is something like open unassigned. I'll point out some of the ones that, that I have in problem. Uh, create new would obviously create a new ticket, but assign to me, open, pending, all. Those are all list views. The overview view shows a series of uh, small portlets and does not behave the same way as this type of list view does. So here I am, am in the list view for my open unassigned incidents. There are no open unassigned incidents for my um, assignment group. I'm going to minimize my left pane so that I've got a little more workspace while I look at this list. I'm going to first of all use this search field up here. It does not behave how you might expect it to. So the most useful option I find up here is the number option. I'm going to enter a number for a ticket that I happen to know and hit enter. And I'm not finding the ticket and it should be readily apparent why that is. Just below I have the actual filters that are already going on showing me what um, I'm viewing. And I'm not finding my ticket even though I know it exists because it doesn't happen to exist in my assignment group which is the knowledge editor assignment group and it's also possibly not resolved. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this all which changes my filter to all the tickets and now when I go up and enter that number I should be able to find the ticket that I'm looking for. So the search only applies within the filter that's already on the list that you're looking at. So this filter area is very important. I find it very useful to pop into the all just to see um, that option and then I can apply whatever search I want or I could apply a separate filter. When you're in a list you have as I mentioned all the different fields and you can sort by any of those fields just by clicking on a title. Perhaps the short description is not the best to sort on. I'll sort on incident state and see all the new ones up top. If you want to see a different field, there's a gearbox on the far left that allows you to personalize this list. And you can add other items to the list. Uh, for instance, the date closed or another useful one that I find is a who it was resolved by, um, depending on what your needs are. I'm actually going to make sure that I have the service offering listed because I want to show you one thing that's useful with that feature. If you need to keep track of tickets that you have dealt with, um, it can be difficult to look up things by your assignment group because once you're done with it, it might move on to a different assignment group. So um, I might want to set up a filter based on service offering because all of the service offerings that my group deals with might be something I want to keep track of. So to do that I'm going to go up to the filter area, the all, and just to the left of that is a little arrow that allows me to see the current filters and also make my own. So since I have no filter on currently I can go ahead and make one for service offering and I'll say that the service offering is Moodle. That's not actually a service that I deal with, but I'll go ahead and take a look at that one. And then I'll hit the Run button. And now I'll only see tickets with a service offering of Moodle. I uh, could do that every time I log in, or I could save that filter to use it again. And to save the filter, w once you've created it, make sure you go straight back into the filter area and choose the Save Filter option. You can't share filters with others but you can create your own. And once I've created that filter, let me show you how I'd use that in real life. I might be sitting on the all perhaps. And then I'd use this incident menu. Similarly, if you were looking at change tickets, you'd use the change menu and go to filters and then to my Moodle filter. Now, while you're looking at a list, any item that has an underline will take you 
to more information about that item. For instance, if I want more information about the Moodle service offering, I can click on Moodle and have that open up. And then again, of course, to go back to the list, I can hit the back green arrow. I could, of course, use my toggle horizontal split or vertical split to see both the service offering information and the list at the same time. I'll turn that toggle back off. Lastly, if you want to keep track of a particular ticket, you can, of course, drag the link into your bookmarks area on the left, or, and so there I have that particular ticket uh, bookmarked, or you could add a label to it. So I'm going to right-click on this ticket. Notice I'm not right-clicking on a link, and I'll choose Assign Label New, and I'll say um, Hot Items is what I'm going to call this label. Where'd that label go? The label shows up in my navigation pane on the left-hand side. And you can see that within that hot items, I have that one particular ticket. Um, bookmarks are very handy, but you can't organize them, whereas you can apply many labels and have several different categories of things that you might want to keep track of. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.